All right, welcome back, everybody. The American Cancer Society has formed a philanthropic venture fund called Bright Edge Ventures. It invests in startups that are developing new cancer treatment technologies. And joining us right now to talk more about the fund and the new strategies for giving back is Bob Crutchfield. He is managing director of Bright Edge Ventures. And Bob, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. All right, so this is really interesting, a new way of kind of tackling and trying to promote research. How, how does the fund work? Who donates? And, and what happens with the returns that you make? So, as you know, the American Cancer Society, since 1946, has been active in funding translational research grants, $4.9 billion over that period of time, over $100 million a year to, uh, this, to today. And so what we do is invest in the biggest problems facing cancer patients today for tomorrow's solutions. So we have no equity, we have no returns, it's just pure, non-dilutive grant funding. But if you look at, if you're a cancer patient today, um, and I'm a cancer survivor, if you're a cancer patient today, you don't really want tomorrow's solutions, you want today's solutions. And so, so much money from the private markets has come into cancer over the last 10 or 12 years, there are opportunities for us to invest in near market or in market diagnostics, therapeutics, devices, and technologies, and we want to push those into the, into the market in a way that cancer patients are being treated sooner in a, in a commercialization cycle rather than later. Sure. So we, we see a really good opportunity for us to invest for mission, but at the same time invest for returns. And then we take the returns that we make on investments and then recycle those into to more, it's an evergreen fund model, so we reinvest them into more uh, life-saving technologies. Let me ask, for, for this, you're looking to raise another $100 million, but you have to donate a $1 million in order to qualify for the fund. Why? I mean, if you're looking to raise <clears throat> as much money as possible, why does somebody have to give a $1 million to be able to give? Yeah, so the, the face of philanthropy is changing. Uh, people find it surprising that the average donation on an annual basis from an individual donor for the Cancer Society is under $100. So in order for us to create sustainable new revenue streams, uh, this looks like an opportunity for us to invest in both mission and returns, but in order for us to be able to invest with any sort of, you know, equity size, we need at least 150 million or greater size fund, because the round sizes and some of these early therapeutics and diagnostics are very, very large. And so we believe that there's an opportunity for us to create a fund model that allows philanthropists to donate money, see where every single dollar has been invested, and then see where those dollars have boosted and um, through uh, uh, li liquidity events, and then see where they've been re reinvested. So the life cycle for them to track their donation is much longer. And so 250 a year over four years is sort of the minimum donation that we're looking for today. And Cancer Society has committed 50 million from their balance sheet to get this started. And, and in terms of <clears throat> the tax benefits for people who are donating, how does that work too? So they get a tax deduction, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then uh, that, that's it, right? That's so, it. so they get no additional benefit from gains that are produced. And but they can recycled. actually track where their money is going and what's happening. So what, what are the best investments you've made so far? So our, our first company that we invested in was uh, Castle Biosciences. We made that investment in March, uh, had a liquidity event through an IPO in July. So that's, that's been a good investment. You have to remember we're in our first year of you know, full operations. So we've made four investments this year. We had made um, um, an investment in a fund of funds in uh, 2018, so five investments to date. Uh, and so we feel pretty good about where we are. So we've invested in Castle Biosciences, a therapeutic uh, called Community, uh, another diagnostic called Freenome, and a healthcare IT company called uh, Navigating Cancer. I, I realize it's early days, and I'm sure you're looking at the returns that you're making, but you're probably just as eager, if not more eager, to see what kind of results you're getting for, for patients who are getting now access to new therapies. So it's definitely a double bottom line model. So every investment that we make, there is uh, an impact, you know, uh, equation that we develop for that investment, and then we also invest for the financial return. So financially, we're doing really well. Uh, first year, um, our multiple uninvested capital is one and a half. Uh, as of the 24th of December, our uh, IRR was a 67.9. So pretty, pretty good start. Yeah, that, that's great. What, what's been the most exciting? <clears throat> scientific advance that, that you think some of this money has? Or is it too soon to even tell at this no, point? No, I think, you know, um, obviously we, we think all the investments we've made so far are, are ad advanced scientifically, but the work that's going on in T cells and CAR T, immuno-oncology and immunotherapy, that's very exciting. Micro and macrobiome, that's going to be another advance that we're, we're tracking very, very closely. So there are a lot of great things going on. And then the other interesting thing is that the combination of technology you know, sort of interacting with science 
is occurring at such a rapid rate that we think that AI and machine learning is going to play a much larger role in the cancer world going forward. You mentioned that you're a cancer survivor yourself. What kind of cancer did you survive? Testicular. Uh, we're, we're very glad to have you here. Thanks. You're raising funding for this. Uh, it sounds like a really great new model. So we hope to come back and kind of give us an update on how things are going. Yeah, thank you. I'd like thank that. Thank you.